Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic Microsoft form. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or a professional, Microsoft Forms can be a great tool for collecting data, conducting surveys, and even creating quizzes. Although for that, you'll probably want to use the quiz part of Microsoft Forms. But let's dive right in. So the first step is to head over to forms.office.com and here you'll need to sign in using your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you'll be able to create a new account here for free. But I have one, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with mine. Once you're signed in, you'll be greeted with the Microsoft Forms dashboard. Here, you'll have the option to create a new form or to choose from a template. For this tutorial, let's start from scratch and let's create a new form. Now we're in the Form Builder interface. Across the top, you'll find a variety of questions that you can type in to add to your form. Let's start by adding a multiple choice question. Great! Now we can enter our question in the provided field And we can add multiple answer choices. Notice that once I type one or two questions, it starts suggesting things to me. I can add another option, but I can use one of their suggestions for the other options. We could even add an other option at the bottom where they can type in their own response. Remember that you can add as many answer choices as you need depending on the nature of your question. You also have choices at the bottom. If you want to make it so that this question is required, you can make it as required. If you want to allow the respondents to be able to select multiple answers, you can check that and you can either put a limit on how many answers they can check or you can leave it at no limit. You can also shuffle the options so that they don't come out in the same order for everyone. You can make the options as a drop down so that they click the arrow to choose them. Microsoft Forms also allows you to include other question types. Let's try that now. We'll add a new question. So we'll add a new question, and this time we'll choose a text question. Where do you like to go for vacation? And this time they'll be able to type in anything they want to type. If it's a short answer, you can leave it as it is. Or if you want to give them more space to type, you can make it be a long answer. Again, you have the option to make it required or not. Let's look at another question type. This time, let's try a rating question. How do you like this survey? And they would be able to pick on a scale of one to whatever you choose here, how, many, how well they like this survey. You can also change what the symbol looks like. You can make it be numbers, or you can make it be other things whatever fits your theme of your form. Again, you can make it required or not required. Let's look at another question type. Let's look at the date question type. It says input a date. What is your birth date? At this time, they would be able to just pick from a calendar for a date. And then we have even more question types. If you pick the down arrow here, we can do a ranking that's like this. How would you rank your organization? And again, you don't have to stick with the three options. You could add more options if you wanted to. If you want to eat, have less options, you can actually delete some of the options. You can make it required or not required. Let's look at another question type. You could use a Likert scale. Another one, you could allow them to upload a file. You can limit how big the file can be that they upload, and you can limit how many files they could upload or make it be just one. And let's look at 
this one that you have a sample question in here for us already how likely are you to recommend us and it's another scale that you can rate things on and then the last thing in here was a section and so this is not really a question this is just where if you wanted to put different sections of questions you could put a lot of these in here to divide the sections out feel free to explore all of these options and experiment with different question types once you're done adding questions you can customize the look and feel of your form click on the style link at the top of the page and here you can change the background color or you can add a theme and even add background music. Notice that right now when I scroll through, there are lots of different colors for themes. If I pick a background color, it will start showing me themes that are related to that color. So if you wanna stick with a certain color, you could choose what background color you wanted. And you can always do view all to see all of the colors here. Also, if you wanna add background music, you can select what background music you want to add. and the music will start playing. Seems like some nice holiday music, so we could try, we could try a form like this. <laughs> also, don't forget to title your form. And you can also change what is in the description of your form. Now it's time to share your form. Click on the collect responses button at the top right corner of the screen. You'll have some different sharing options such as making it so that anyone can respond if they have the link to this form. Only people in your organization can respond or only specific people in your organization can respond. Once you've chosen how you wanna share this, who you wanna share this with, then you can choose how you want to share it you can either use a link, which you would just click the button here to copy the link, and you can paste it anywhere you want to paste it in an email, on social media, whatever. You can actually shorten the URL so that it comes out as a shorter link. Then you have other options. You can do an invitation, which here you could type anybody who's in your organization. You could type it here and it would just be shared through Outlook or through Teams to those people. You can download a QR code by clicking the download button here. Or if you know how to add things into a web page, you can use the embed. You can copy this text right here. And as long as you know how to add it in, you really don't have to worry about if you understand what this text means. You just click the copy button and then you would paste it into your web page. Now that's it. You've created a basic Microsoft form. Wait, there's more you can do with forms. Let's go ahead and go to this link so that I can make a response to this form. I'm going to start now. Notice that actually when you create sections, those sections will come out on different pages when the person is filling out the form. Once that is submitted, now I'm going to go back to where I was creating the form because now I can go to responses at the top and I'll be able to see everyone that's responded to this form, how they answered the questions. If there was more than one response, you would be able to see the percentages of how these questions was, were answered. Um, if it's something that warrants that, you'll be able to see it in a graph form. But here's another cool thing. Let's say we had hundreds of responses and it would be a whole lot easier to see it in another way. We can always open these results in Excel. It will download. And then you can just open the Excel file and look at the Excel file. Microsoft Forms is a powerful tool that can be used in various scenarios. So don't hesitate to explore all its features and get creative with your forms. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more useful tutorials. And until next time, happy form building.